Hey guys, so welcome back to my kitchen name. It's me, Ella. It's nighttime, and I was watching TV. It's Little House on the Prairie. I'm on season six now. It's about to get to a really sad episode. <clears throat> Spoiler alert: people die. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's done seen it. Okay, anyways, um, it's nighttime. It's eight something. It's a little after eight p.m. on Friday, January twenty-sixth. Uh, I just literally got back like 30 minutes ago from my trip to another town. <laughs> uh, yeah, brain farted. I got a lamp sitting right here just to try to um, brighten it up a little bit. Ugh, look at that. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to do like a quick little haul video just of uh, all the stuff that I grabbed because <clears throat> I think I'm getting sick. My throat feels, um, my tonsils feel throat swollen because I have a lot of trouble with my tonsils. And I keep feeling like I'm gonna lose my voice every now and then I'll be talking and it just kind of stops. So I think that I'm losing it. But um, I went to Joanne's Target, but I didn't get any yarn stuff at Target. Obviously, they don't have yarn stuff. And Walmart. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop in and show you what I got at Joanne's first. That's the first place I went to. Okay, first I got <clears throat> four fat quarters. Um, that's pretty true color. It's like a bluey, a light blue color. And then orange, two orange, right there. <laughs> um, these are for the Tsum Tsum material my sister bought me. These are just to use as liners for uh, the bags that I make of that. The neighbors are making noise. Um, I also got a yard of fusible fleece. I always forget how to say that. To try to make, uh, li not lined, interfaced bags. I think that's the right thing. I don't know. I guess we will see. Then I got these two strands of um, beads. They're stranded beads. We're 50% off. So I got uh, little candy corns and little mushrooms. Just to make stitch, mark out, stitch markers out of. Because I thought they were cute. And I could keep some and gift some. Or maybe use for future giveaways. I don't know. Uh, what else did I get, John? Okay. I got Red Heart Super Saver was on sale for $2.99, I think. So I got this color because it's not at my local Walmart. It's not really coming in that good. But it's called Tea Leaf. And they don't sell this at any of the Walmarts near me. And I always thought it was a pretty color just to have for amigurumi parts or leaves. You know, things like that. And this color we also don't have locally. <clears throat> is a uh, light raspberry. And it's really pretty pink. It's not really coming out that good because it's a lot. That kind of is closest to what color it is. Let's see, is that everything I got at Joanne? I think so. I didn't spend a lot at Joanne. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. I got a half a yard of this material. This I'm going to make the bag for the winner, the Facebook group winner of the cow that I'm hosting <coughs> with Mo. Um, I mentioned it in my last video, and I'll mention it more in an actual video because I think I'm going to make a video about cows because I'm going to be participating in a lot and co-hosting one. So I need to, like get all the details and put them in one place for everybody who's interested. Any hoodles. I got half a yard so that I can make a larger size bag. Because half a yard is two fat quarters ish. Should be right on the nose actually. <clears throat> but anyways, I tried and tried and tried to find um cake related. I looked all over uh the Walmart, I looked all over Joann's. Couldn't find any that had cake on it only cupcakes and I found some online but they were like $17 a yard and I'm not gonna pay $17 a yard for yar or yarn for material that I'm not gonna keep <laughs> so I had to get cupcakes but this is still really cute got all kinds of different little cupcakes it's pretty color and it's still cake it's just a little cup shaped cake <laughs> so I'm gonna make a project bag out of that it'll be a drawstring one probably you know if I figure out how to make zipper bags I mean I got half a year to do it and I could also have half a year to find more material so I could go ahead and make a bag in this and then if I find more cake related material I can make a cake one I don't know we shall see <laughs> all right um like I said we went to Target but the only thing we got there is I got Jesse two Hot Wheels because he loves Hot Wheels <clears throat> and I also got this it's just a priority notepad I love little things like this planner related things all right and then at walmart <clears throat> i got because i normally get i can't even, i don't even know what brand it is but it's got red on the package it's blue and red 
I normally get it, it's 16 ounces, but I, I took the price and divided it by 16. And then I took this one's price and divided it by 20, and this one was actually um, like six cents cheaper per ounce than the one I usually buy, so I wanna hang out this one. And plus it's got a little bit of extra, you know, more in it, so. I got this because I need to work on that elephant for my sister, and I didn't have any fiber fill. I just had yarn bits, and I want it to be fiber fill so that it doesn't poke through the grain. Got that. <laughs> Then I got some more fat quotas. Okay. Got two black. They're just regular old black fat quarters. These are to go with some of the Halloween material that I already have. I got two dark blue. Darkish blue. Darker than the ones I got at Joanne, but not super dark. Those are also to go with some of the Christmas prints that I already have. And then I got this one with clouds on it. It's blue with clouds. I just thought it was cute. It'd be a cute little bag. And then I got this. This is, what is this called? Houndstooth. This matches this pretty good. It's just the colors are showing up weird. I got this to line this with. Maybe. I might get some different ones. I don't know. But I got it intending to line the cloud one with it. <laughs> I also picked up two zippers because I want to learn how to sew bags with zippers and uh, interface them. So I just got two 14 inch zippers because um, I have all the tutorials I've seen said to get bigger ones because you can always trim them. So it's better to get bigger ones instead of little ones that, you know, I guess because I'm a learner. I don't know. I think that's everything that I got. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. <laughs> got a lot of material, really, because, you know, I got all these fat quarters and then a half a yard. I wish they sold bulk material and fat quarters. I mean, I get, I get why they don't, but whatever. That's my little haul. <laughs> it's not a lot, and um, I did end up getting yarn, but it was on sale, and these are just two colors that aren't around here, and I thought they were pretty colors. And, um, yeah, I have no excuse other than I'm a yarn hoarder. <laughs> but um, there are some things that were better priced, I noticed, at Hobby Lobby. I know a lot of people are against Hobby Lobby because of things that's going on recently with them, but I have to shop there because the prices are cheaper, and... I can't drive an hour out of my way to shop somewhere that's more expensive than one that's in the city I live in, or near. So <clears throat> I will continue shopping at Hobby Lobby. I love, I love, I love their yarn, or this yarn, oh, I love their yarn brand. And uh, Yarn Bee is pretty good, and their cheap brand is Crafter Secret or something like that. It's, it's pretty decent. Uh, they have good deals, better deals on fabric there, cheaper fabric, and way cheaper beads. Joanne's almost made me go cross-eyed and they didn't have hardly any selection like they had like one aisle of bead stuff whereas Hobby Lobby has like five or six and um, like lobster claws and everything clasps are way cheaper at Hobby Lobby and I'm not gonna spend multi you know a lot of money an hour away when I can just spend way less in the next town that I live by and also I looked at um, the earring clasp thingies that people make stitch markers out of I have a few and at our Walmart, you get four for two dollars. Four for two dollars. And on Amazon, I looked it up, and you could get a hundred for ten dollars. So I'm gonna be ordering the hundred for ten dollars uh, as soon as I have extra ten dollars to buy a hundred stitch marker things. But yeah, so I'm gonna be working on trying to learn how to line some bags and make zipper bags soon. I would love to be able to learn to make those bags with like. <clears throat> what's it called? I don't remember what's called. It's a clear plastic on the, um, goodness gracious, what are you doing up there? <laughs> yeah, stomping around. And this is a little tiny woman that lives up there. I don't know what she's doing. But, um, the clear, where you can see into the bag, I think those are so neat. I'd like to learn how to make those. But I've heard that they're kind of hard to make. But, you know, anything, you, you can learn to do anything. At least that's what I believe. I believe anybody can learn to do anything. They just gotta try. So yeah, that's my little haul. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here since it's 10 minutes and it's a weird video because I'm like just ahead. I can't get my phone to set up. My camera's dead and uh, I'm trying to get this filmed before I have to go pick up Devin. <clears throat> I was gonna film uh, a lot of videos tonight, voiceover videos, tutorials and such, but my voice is coming in and out and I don't wanna film with my voice sounding wonky. So I'm probably gonna have to wait till next weekend. Devin's gonna be off all weekend next weekend, so that'll be fun. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get this edited real fast so that I can upload it.
maybe. I don't know. I'm not. I don't like the way I look through this. I look like just a head floating there. <laughs> well, if you see this part, I didn't refilm it. And if you don't see this part, you won't know the difference. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off. I'll see you guys later. Bye.